A lot of young entrepreneurs watch the channel. What is the one piece of advice you'd, uh, you'd give them? So we just started down in Barcelona and today is a big day because today I'm officially meeting part of the team that's helping me with the launch of the 100 million e-com brand that I'm building. We'll be going back and forth on Slack and Zoom, but today I'm officially meeting them face to face. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I run one of the leading e-com agencies in the world. One of the amazing benefits of building an e-com agency is the fact that once you've done it for clients all over the world, once you've built seven and eight figure uh, e-com brands all over the world for other clients, now you can start building your own e-com brands. And that's the stage of the journey that I'm currently at. And man, I'm excited to share with you the whole process and the product that we're actually building. And through the upcoming weeks, I'm gonna bring you through every single step of the process until the actual launch. In this first episode, I'm gonna share with you all the pieces of the puzzle that are coming together to form the team. And over the upcoming episodes, we're gonna talk design, manufacturing, product development, the whole marketing strategy, and so much more. So I'm very excited for this whole series. Hope you guys are too. And without further ado, let's go ahead and meet the team. All right, guys, so we are here uh, looking at the, uh, not the final versions, but looking at a few iterations of the final product. Uh, I'm very good at forcing people to be on my blogs. Uh, so here we've got Paula. Do you want to tell them what you do? Hi, everyone. I'm Paula Valdivieso, the product designer. And I hope you're a fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was perfect. Uh, I so yeah, okay, she, she, she's amazing. Um, you know, she's basically put in our, you know, our ideas and, and the designs that we have in mind on paper, on Photoshop, and we're really making it, um, you know, we're really trying to make a, not just an amazing product, but, but make it look incredible, right? Because uh, we, want, we want to have that premium feel. Uh, we, want to, we want you guys to feel like you're not just, you know, have, you know, have an amazing product, or you're taking an amazing product, but truly feel like this is um, something unique uh, and we want to set ourselves apart. Not only with an amazing formulation um, that's really going to help you accelerate and, and really help, help you focus, but set ourselves apart on the design side of things. Um, you know, we were, we're really picky on, on the, uh, the, uh, the look and feel of the product. So, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to see what comes out. We still have to uh, go through a few iterations, but uh, I'm excited. Is it fun working with us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're very annoying sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next day. Here we've also got Augusta, my sweet, sweet girlfriend, who's actually going to be quite involved in the uh, Ecom project that uh, we're going to be launching now. As uh, she is heading product development. So, Augusta, why don't you tell us a bit about what the product development um, cycle and, and what that looks like? Well, um, I don't know if you know guys, but I'm a biotechnologist. So what I do is when somebody tells me I need a product for my back pain, for example, then I research the ingredients, like what are the best ingredients out there to uh, provide the, the benefit and to accomplish the benefit. And then once I have the ingredients, I do the formulation. So um, it's very important and if you take any uh, supplement to know that you're having the, the good dose and that you have the great formulation. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> so she's leading that team. She's got a, a, an amazing team behind her as well. And, yeah, uh, huge team actually. Uh, huge, huge stuff. But I don't want to reveal the what the product actually is just yet. I do want to keep that a bit of a secret, especially because for confidential reasons that uh, we cannot uh, disclose that. Um, but once it's you know fully done and, and once we have everything penciled in, we'll share what that looks like. But I'm sure, judging by the nature of uh, Augusta's job here in the development uh, stage, you can probably tell what the uh, the product category at least is. So that is that for Augusta. Now I want to introduce you to Tato, who's actually our point of contact with the manufacturer, and just make sure that the product is as best as it could be, and ensures that the manufacturing cycle is going as smoothly as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. All right, guys. So. We're here with Tato. Hello, my name is Tato. I am the R&D director. Uh, now, a bit about what we're doing just now. Uh, we were basically determining the, you know, the, a lot of logistical things. Um, for example, the amount of units we're going to do for uh, the first order. What, you know, the, the various iterations that we're going to run through uh, to make sure that the part is perfect. So I thought we'd run us through just very quickly um, through, you know, kind of the approach that we're following to make sure that this product is just the best in the market. One, one of the important parts of, after that, the ingredients, the formula and everything is, is put the control of the product regarding uh, if the product works perfectly. So we do a lot of uh, 
test with consumers, a lot of tests of the ingredients, and after that we make the final product. I mean, the amount of iterations, because he's a pretty humble guy, right? But the amount of iterations that we're going through, guys, is, is just insane to make sure that we're putting out the best product in the market. You know, one of our, the philosophy here is, if the product is not going to be the best in the market, there's just no point in, in launching it. So we want to make sure that it's the product, you know, the best product in the market that costs quite a bit of money in R&D. Um, I and mean, it's a pretty laborious process, but I'd ra we'd rather take that the, the long road than put out a product that, that's just not gonna that's just not gonna cut through the noise. Um, that's kind of you know our philosophy here. So very excited for, for this. I've learned a lot from uh, mm -hmm. from him. Um, and so you guys have seen the formulation of things. You've seen the, the signing with Paula. Now you've seen uh, what uh, Tato does. How he gets able to the manufacturing and the testing and just making sure that the product comes along and, and works tremendously well. Now we're going to go ahead and talk with um, our experts and uh, director uh, who's handling the US exports and all that stuff. So we'll cut into that. Right, okay, guys. So by the way, I'm forcing all these people to appear in this vlog. Like people hate me at this point. I mean, the whole office knows. <laughs> Office. No, I mean, it's, 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 it's not a great introduction, but now we're gonna we're gonna talk with the U.S. export uh, director. Uh, so here we've got Eliana, um, and she's handling all exports, shipping, all that stuff. So. Hi, this is Eliana. I'm the operations manager. I'm in charge of exports, mainly mainly to USA and around of the world. So I make sure that all logistics uh, be fast and uh, shoot. <laughs> Amazing. When you get this product, when you get this product, and and you receive in like one two days, uh, that's because of her. You know, she makes sure that the, the shipping is incredible. Uh, we've got a partner out in the US uh, who handles all that. Uh, he's got a very big operation, so we wanted to make sure not only do we have an amazing product, but logistically you get the product fast because people are used to Amazon nowadays. They, they don't want to wait uh, one, two, three weeks, right? So we want to make sure that, that that side of the business is, is incredible because customer experience, for you know, I, I take it very seriously for my agency as well and for my business, so we want to make sure that it's on point. So thank her when you get your product. Now we're going to talk with the expert manager, and she's basically the one in charge. You know, she, she's the point of contact with all the offices worldwide to make sure that the product is delivering fast everywhere in the world. We're going to talk to, uh, to her. She speaks a lot of languages. She will intimidate you with all her language knowledge. But here we've got Elisa. Hello. Hi, my name is Elisa. I'm in charge of speaking to the offices uh, worldwide to launch our products uh, everywhere. And uh, that's basically what I do. Thank you. So guys, there you have it. That is the team, part of the team that's going to help me Make sure that this e-com launch and this e-com product really hits the ground running and can really scale to the hundred million dollar mark. I'm very confident of that given the incredible team that we piece together. So that is part of the team and the reason why I say that is because the agency team, the e-com marketing agency team that I run on a daily basis for other clients, obviously that team is going to be the most involved in the project. And I've talked about this a bunch of times, but that is the beauty of having an e-commerce marketing agency and building that up because then you have an incredible asset that you can use to launch your own e-com brand. So I'm very excited to continue to take you guys through the journey and I'll catch you guys on the next clip. Okay, and the final piece of the puzzle, we've got the legend himself, my friend and mentor, Andreas. You guys ask me a lot, you know, who are my mentors? And I'd say 95% of my mentors are offline and they within big, big brands uh, like Andreas is. So he's built a multi-million dollar brands like... You know, Helix, for example, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Snail cream, Baba Caracol. Okay. Uh, and a question uh, because because it's a uh, basically now he's built. I mean he's built multi million dollar brands offline and online. Um, and a lot of people, you know, my channel, they often you know they, they often um, wonder why are people not making a transition online or why are you know these big brands not investing into Facebook as just yet, right? And Andreas made the transition to online how long ago? Yes, we started like one year ago yeah. uh, and. Uh, we believe that online is the present and the future, but offline is not that. We are still mm -hmm. making every day a lot of money offline, and I think it's going to be still in the future, a uh, couple of years, a good source for revenue and business. Uh, we are selling to people 50 plus, and they still look at uh, magazines, they still uh, look at offline uh, media, but of course we have to be online as well because this is the future. Yeah. So as you guys can see, 
multi-million dollar brands haven't yet made this decision. A lot of them haven't just yet, right? And it's just a very recent um, I think that they've done. So keep that in mind. It's, a, it's still a massive opportunity. And the final question, Andreas, a lot of young entrepreneurs watch the channel. What is the one piece of advice you'd, uh, you'd give them? Just do it. And if it doesn't work, do it again. And if it doesn't work, stand up and do it again. Just keep on trying and be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll wrap it up there. Uh, you know, big credits to, uh, to Andreas and also big thanks to, to him and the whole team. So uh, we'll cut into the next clip. So back in Madrid, back at the HQ, at the agency HQ, after a very productive trip, there's something about meeting people physically. Now, for the longest time, all of my businesses, most of the people in my team have been completely remote. Obviously, right there in my office, we've got uh, my CTO who also works with me and he's actually my brother. So we work in the same office, but most of the team is completely remote. Um, now, there's something that happens when you've got very smart people in the same room, and that's what happened here in Barcelona. We were able to get the formulation just right. We were also able to make some final decisions on the product development side of things, which I'm excited to share with you guys in the next episode. And most importantly, we put the first order through, which should be done in five to six weeks. So very excited to share with you guys the whole process in the upcoming episodes. Thank you for tuning in. And if you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash the like button. Also, if you haven't subbed to my channel, go ahead and do that so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. And as always, hope everything is going to work in your journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace. No way. <laughs> Guys, we just received what's probably going to be the final mock-up for the Ecom product. Woo! Guys, this is incredible. I'm super excited to share that with you. Here is what the product actually looks like.